849, and Mickey Gomez is here. And I, let me guess what's your message for, mother, for Mother's Day is. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not necessarily my message. I read this story in the Huffington Post written by Christina Birdzall, and she's a new mom, and she and her husband both work from home. They have a toddler that attends daycare as long as the universe aligns. And uh, when things do go sideways, she's a primary caregiver. She still has to take care of her son and work from home. And as she tells it, she's exhausted. Mm. She's mommed out. Mm. And she said, you know what? I should have had a clue. It, sh- it should have been it should have been like one of those aha moments when she was nine months pregnant and she was taking a walk in her neighborhood and she crossed paths with another mom about her age pushing a stroller. And the mom just asked, how far along are you? And she waited for the obligatory congratulations. Are you having a boy or a girl? But that never came. Instead, what the mom said was, good luck. <laughs> and then, I love that. I and love then that. it came again from a gutter, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, what is this all about? And now she knows. And I, I, I found the story to, you know, I sympathized. I sympathized with her. I really did. Uh, but um, I by no means do I feel the way she does. I mean, she is just, leave me alone for Mother's Day. That's all I want is to be left alone. When they're as young as her kids, yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, feeling. Truly. Tr- mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. Um, Christina said this year uh, her husband can celebrate Mother's Day with brunch. She can, he can take their son, take the dog. Go to brunch and leave her alone in bed. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great approach to Mother's Day. I love Br- it. Brunch it without the mother. Yes. Brunch yeah. without the mother. Yeah. There you go. Or bring home left, you know, bring home something for mom. Right. Like, just drop it outside her door. Don't say anything. Just leave say, her alone. Food's here. Mm. Leave me alone. I've been, uh, some people will have a visceral reaction to that. And they're, oh, that's so selfish. You should spend time with your kids on Mother's Day. And and that's not to say that all mothers want to be left alone. Some There are some Mother's Days when I do want to spend the day with the mm-hmm. kids. And those are my good days. But most days, mm-hmm. I think what parents, and, and I do this for my husband on Father's Day too, are craving is alone time. Yeah. Because when you have kids, you get touched out. Your energy is low. You're tired, and yeah, you need a day alone. You need to recharge. You need to feel mm-hmm. good about yourself, and you need to you need to mm. do the things that you need to do to be able to become a good mom. Yeah. the day quote after, unquote, good mom, right? Quote unquote, whatever that exactly, is. exactly, well, whatever it, that is. If right. the need is that intense, why is it only once a year? I mean, <laughs> shouldn't, you have, like, <laughs> shouldn't you have it like every month? Right, every day should be Mother's <laughs> Day, right? Yeah, if no. we could pass a law that says yeah. leave mom alone once a month, I would love that. But no, I mean, the, the truth is, especially with so many women now working outside of the home, um, and please don't interpret this as me saying that if you stay at home with your kids, uh, male that or female, working, that you're not right? working. You are. I just mean it adds a certain amount of exhaustion to your day. Um, it, that's just the reality of today. More moms are working outside of the home and need alone time. But how do you find that when you've got the groceries, you've got the kids' sports activities, you have the meals to plan, you have the social emotional aspects to care for your children, which often falls on the, the mother. mother. I'm yeah. curious how it works in a same-sex couple, Mickey. So it was really interesting. I was the breadwinner um, back in the day, and my wife was, uh, she took time off from school to have our children, to give birth to them. And um, I can remember when I would leave Andrea and Gigi as a toddler, or no, no, Gigi as a newborn, Javi was a toddler. And I would find my wife sitting in the chair, the rocking chair with Gigi, feeding Gigi, breastfeeding. And when I would come home, I would see them in the exact same place I left them eight hours later. Mm -hmm. And I just went, oh my goodness, give me this child. Please go take a shower, please go get a break. So I remember for Mother's Day, I sent her off. I got her a hotel room. I got her a spa day. And she she said, honestly, she really couldn't relax. She felt guilty of for course. taking that time. Uh, but on Mother's Day, we both celebrate, but we celebrate differently, I guess, because we don't make a big hoopla about it. Oh, yay, it's Mother's Day. It's just mm-hmm. another day. Gigi's got basketball or Javi's got this project. You know what I mean? Like, we don't. Yeah. yeah, but I do have friends who do actually, the husband will actually send the wife off for the weekend and say, here's your hotel room at the mm. at the Radisson. Wow. Go and enjoy all the time alone that you want and then come back refreshed on I Monday. I did that like three years ago for Mother's Day or four mm-hmm. years ago. I don't think it was pandemic times and it was so great. It is great. So Well, that raises the bar. Yeah? It should. Well, what are you going to do, Dave, for your wife on Mother's Day? We don't have any kids at home anymore, Mickey. But she's you're, still she's a still a mom. 
I'll um, I'll cook a nice salmon in the toaster oven. How's that sound? Leave her alone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just leave her alone. It's <laughs>